All right, let's get ready to do experiment number two. In this case, we're gonna be doing some paper chromatography to try to separate the pigments that are found within a leaf. So I have here a number of spinach leaves. I have some chromatography paper. I'm going to eventually place that in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a solvent pick up the pigments and move them up the paper. Now, of course, we expect that different pigments are going to move up the paper at different rates, which is going to allow for us to see them become separated so that we can identify them individually. So the first thing I have to do is I actually need to get some pigment on that paper. So to do that, I'm gonna leave a gap down at the bottom of my paper, and I'm gonna place a leaf across this, and I'm going to start rolling this penny to basically squish some of that pigment into there. So I'm gonna take a look at that, and hopefully I'm doing a decent job of this, and I'm gonna add a little bit more across that same spot. I wanna make sure I have an adequate amount of pigment. Still not quite where I want to be. As I start looking at that, that's not too bad. I'm gonna go with a little tiny bit more. I figure why not have more? More is better than less, right? Okay, so it's a little bit messy, but I can live with that. I've got my pigment on here. I need to place this in my chamber. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that in up top. What I need to do is have this sit down here in the fluid and yet have my pigment not in the fluid itself. I want the solvent to actually climb up the paper and it should then be able to carry the pigment up the paper as it travels.